As political parties go, they don't come any bigger than the CCP. The party now has close to 83 million members, which is almost four times the population of Australia. Membership over the years has been steadily increasing, but there has been a surge in the past decade. That's because of the growing number of members who work in the private sector. But true to its origins, farmers are still the largest group. While the party's membership base is huge, it still only represents about 6% of the country's total population. That's partly because they don't make it easy to join the party. It all starts in school, where at the age of six, students are inducted into the Young Pioneers. They start learning about the party's history and the importance of respecting authority. By the time they hit high school, most students will continue on the path by joining the Communist Youth League. But making the jump from the Youth League to full party membership isn't easy. The party also reaches deep into the workplace. State-owned enterprises under direct communist control still employ more than half the country's workers. And the party also reaches deep into the private sector. It actively sets up communist cells within private businesses, including foreign companies. Some business owners even encourage it because to win contracts, gain clients and generally succeed in business in China, you have to be on good terms with the CCP. Maintaining control means stamping out opposition, which is why the government spends huge amounts of money on internal security. Funding for police, armed militia, the courts and jails has now grown to more than $107 billion. But as Mao Zedong once said, political power grows out of the barrel of a gun. And strict control of the People's Liberation Army is seen as essential for the continuation of the one-party state. In the past decade, Hu Jintao has dramatically increased increased the military budget and has presided over the development of a stealth fighter and the country's first aircraft carrier. Keeping the military well-funded is important to ensure its loyalty to the party doesn't waver. Finally, the CCP strictly protects its monopoly on information. Social media has flourished in recent years and the microblog Sina Weibo has become the public square of debate and discussion. But the private company still has to employ censors in its offices to purge content the party doesn't like. It's estimated in total there are up to 50,000 people employed to patrol the internet and delete content in China. It's also widely believed that people are paid to post pro-party comments in web forums. But it's not just the future that the party's worried about. The CCP also rigidly controls history. The party's official version of history is taught in schools and is reinforced through the media and films. Alternative narratives are banned. This has resulted in confusion among young Chinese about some of the well-known events in modern history. While the Cultural Revolution and the Tiananmen Square Massacre are certainly known of, many young people remain unclear about the details. But as more and more young Chinese take opportunities to go abroad and are exposed to different ideas, keeping them in the dark about some of the party's mistakes of the past will become all the more challenging.